If you would like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel. Welcome to Learn Gemeter series. In this season finale, we are going to see about file input output operations and JSON in Groovy. We will not be able to cover everything in Groovy, but we will be working frequently on files and JSON in performance testing. Just like any other programming language, in Groovy also you can create file, you can write content into a file or you can read the contents from the file and also you will be able to delete a file. Apart from these operations, you can uh, do a recursive operations and also we can check for any other file is present or not or some folder is present or not, some absolute path. So everything is possible in Groovy just like any other language and this code snippet just creates a file in the current directory and then it will print the content and then it will write this is my new content to a file and then it will print the new content and it will delete the file. So this is the frequently used operations you will be working in performance testing. For example, after extracting some of the post processor values, then there might be some use case to write it into a CSV file. Then you can use this kind of code snippets to write the content to the file. Apart from the file input output operation, we also have the JSON manipulation. So using the JSON slurper library, you will be able to manipulate the JSON file. So here we have the simple JSON object, a person details like first name, last name, etc. And first we will be printing the first name, then last name, then phone numbers count using the size method. To fetch the address, we are using a code snippet called closure in Groovy. A closure is nothing but a simple block of code, anonymous block of code, which will be very helpful to manipulate. Usually it will be very short, one or two lines and you will be able to achieve your objective using that closure. So here we are making use of closures to fetch the address. So address is the object here that will display the street address, city and postal code and we are using the closure to find the phone numbers. So we are making use of dot each to iterate over the items inside the array because phone numbers is an array we have two types of phone numbers, iPhone and home. So that code snippet will iterate over and over inside the phone numbers array. Now let us see a quick demo about these two file input output and JSON in JMeter. So this is my simple JMeter test plan. First, we are going to cover file input output. As you see the line number one, it is just creating a new file inside the current directory which is a bin folder and line number two creates a new file and four and five will read the file and it will print the content it should be empty then it will write the content to the file then it will again print the content then it will delete the file so let me run this snippet so in the left side you could see the uh, content the first is lines which is empty and it is printing the new content and then if you go to this particular folder path you don't see that particular uh, demo.txt because it's already deleted by the code so now let me disable this and enable the json sampler so this is my simple json file which has the first name last name age address etc so line number 28 will parse the json object and then it will print the first name last name and the phone numbers so here the phone numbers count we can find using the size method phone numbers is an array so we have two different types of phone numbers iphone and home so it will print the value 2 and again we are making use of the closure here line number 35 to find the address so address is the object which has the three uh, key value pair street address city and postal code so this closure will iterate over and over inside the address and it will print the key and value Next we are printing the phone numbers, again we are making use of the closure dot each and this time phone numbers is an array so it will iterate over inside the array and print the value iPhone and the number and the home and the number. So let me execute this, so before that let me uh, disable this and uh, 
run only the json file so here you can see in the left side it is printing the json the first name john last name and phone numbers and the street address city postal code and the type iphone and its number and home and its number so that's the guess from my side if you have any questions please let me know in the comments and please feel free to join q and shades community if you have any questions and thanks for watching have a good day if you like my dad's videos please subscribe to qa insights channel